Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once in a while poems from the past. Today's poem comes to us from Lee Young Lee from his book Rose, um, published by uh, Boa Editions in 1986. Um, the poem I'm going to read is called Ash, Snow or Moonlight. Tonight, two step out onto a fourth-story porch, lean against the railing and look at the moon. Whether they intend to stay a while or only a moment because something awaits, terrible or tender, I can't say. Whether one mutters to the other or they stand in silence, I don't know. And I don't know if they're here together in a brief repose, or at the edge of something incommunicable. I don't know if the man shivers now because he suddenly sees the waste of his life is to be in thirty years on another shore, or because true autumn has begun this moment of the present year in a province whose name evokes in half the world a feeling of the vastness of the world. I can tell you there is a war going on. But don't ask me to distinguish if it's ash, snow, or moonlight that creases these people's faces. Of this man who each night hums a song and rocks his sons and falls asleep before they do, his tune long gone, his labored breathing finally lowing them, and this woman who sweeps by rote or moonlight the wood floor of their one room, what news? They won't stay long to gaze, for the night is cold. They look neither young nor old, though something about the way they stand suggests fatigue. They will die, and one before the other to ensure grief. But I don't know, is it tenderness or habit, perhaps a tender habit? When the woman brushes her cheek against the man's shoulder, do they admire the moon's ascent or lament its decline? How often have I seen these two? Am I stricken by memory or forgetfulness? Is this the first half of the century or the last? Is this my father's life or mine? Um, that was Ash, Snow, or Moonlight by Li Young Li from Rose, published by Bo Editions back in 1986. Um, this is, I believe, his first book, and it is still, in my opinion, well, in my opinion, it's still, for me, uh, one of my favorite books to read and to return to. So I highly suggest, well, highly recommend it and suggest that if you haven't read it, that you do do so. Find a copy, find these poems, encounter them, um, and I, I think you'll be better for it. Um, if you enjoy, if you enjoyed this reading and this poem, please do uh, check out the description of the video. Uh, in the description, I have information about Lee Young Lee, as well as where to purchase this book, and additional information about other projects I'm currently working on. Um, if you like what I'm doing with the Hermit Poetry series, please do share these videos on social media, uh, like, comment, subscribe, that, you know, all that usual stuff. Um, it, it's a small thing. It doesn't translate into any monetary reward for me, but it does ensure that the videos, um, for the YouTube, uh, YouTube algorithm are more visible, that they're, they're easy to discover. And I think for me, at least it's a small thing we can do to ensure that more people encounter these poems and more people discover these poets. And, um, it's a way to support the larger poetry community. So, um, thank you for watching these videos. Uh, thank you to all the new, um, recent subscribers and viewers. Um, I'm grateful. I'm not certain how you found us, but I'm grateful that you're here and hope that you'll stay and continue to, to be a part of this community. Um, if you have suggestions for poets or poetry that I could read as part of this series, please do feel free to reach out to me or comment below. In the videos and let me know. Um, I do try to respond to comments that I get, especially if you have questions or, or suggestions. And um, if you yourself are a poet with a book out and would like to be featured, 
um, reach out as well. And we'll do our best to figure out a way to get a copy of your book into my hands so that I can read it. Um, and uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to say. Well, I wish you all the very best. Uh, grateful for your support and look forward to reading more poetry in the very near future. Um, if you subscribe to the channel, channel, you'll be notified every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. That's when these new videos come out. And um, we'll continue to be producing, well, we, me, I will continue to be producing videos. Um, I enjoy doing this. It's relatively simple, um, except for the part where I spend forever trying to decide which poem to read. Case in point tonight. Um, and uh, I... I do enjoy it, and I, I'm grateful for opportunities to re-encounter these poems and to, to immerse myself again in poetry um, and uh, be inspired in my own writing. So I hope that has some sort of a, an effect for you, that you find yourself turning to words, language, three again, and finding new ways to communicate with others. Um, so until next time, stay safe and well. Keep reading, keep writing, keep being engaged with the world. Finding ways to build bridges between you and others, um, one poem, one line, one word at a time. Um, and until next time, uh, be safe. Oh, I think I already said that, but we'll, we'll catch up again. More poetry coming. Until then, goodbye.